Peace. This is Boss from Wise Words Media back at y'all for another round. And we are witnessing out here in the tri state area. If you're a football fan, especially a Giants fan, something that has a real good feel to it, nice story, and that is none other than the Tommy DeVito story. Here's a guy that lives at home with his parents, mom still does his laundry, and he was on the practice squad. You know, this is a guy that he wasn't even allowed to throw a pass when they played the Jets back in October and here he is since the starter Daniel Jones and the backup Tyrod Taylor went out he has been given the reins and he has made the most of this opportunity he's gotten consecutive wins and this past week this Monday night game that he played against Green Bay that was no, they were no slouches, you know. Green Bay came in winning four straight. And <clears throat> not only were they winners of four straight, they were clicking. You were starting to see, you're starting, the world starting to see the maturation of Jordan Love. He's starting to come of age, filling into his shoes right now. And he's been looking good. He's had Green Bay playing some good football, but... The New York Giants have put a halt to it, and Tommy DeVito has led the drive. Um, it's definitely a feel-good story. It's reminiscent somewhat of Lynn Sanity a little bit, but uh, with a with some Italian flavor to it. But um, other than that, it's a real good feel-good story. He's actually got the Giants in, in, in a position where they're mathematically still alive to make the playoffs. Uh, personally, I hate to say it, but I, I don't feel they can make it because they play Philly, who's been slumping. They don't look like the same Eagles that went to the Super Bowl last year. So they need this victory. They need and not only this victory, they need these victories because they play the Giants twice. So it's going to be very hard for the Giants to win out and kind of like put themselves in a position where they secure that position in the playoffs. But it's been a fun story. You know, it's a fun story. It's, again, reminiscent of Jeremy Lin, somebody that came from nowhere at the end of the bench and is given an opportunity due to injuries and making the most of it and making headlines with it. It's a fun story. You see the family rejoicing. You see um, the fans are just alive again. At one point, I wasn't even watching the Giants anymore. I was like, man, I'm going to stick to Red Zone on Sundays. But, man, you know, after that Judge debacle, I, I tuned out. But I, I've been back in for the past couple games. And the kid looks good. He looks good. He's what I do like about him more than I like of Daniel Jones or what I would wish Daniel Jones would implement a little more of this skill set or at least have it because you don't know if Jones has it, but is pocket awareness. Like Daniel Jones, some, some of those sacks that he received, yes, we could blame the O-line. The O-line play has been terrible, but some of those sacks were – by way of his doing, by not having the pocket awareness and doing what doing what Bart Scott calls burping the baby, just holding the ball, trying to read your progressions, but you're not aware of what's coming what's coming at you because you're so focused down the field. You see, this kid Tommy DeVito has really good pocket awareness. He tends to like he's looking down the field, but it's almost, it's it's again pocket awareness. He can almost sense that there's a defender coming, and he starts to scramble at that instant. Once that defender gets past his lineman, you see Devito scramble, and he's like he's making a quick decision or throwing it out or running scrambling with it. So that. 
that is a skill set that I wish Daniel Jones would implement more. But that, but Tommy DeVito has it. It's innate for him because for him to be doing this, playing like that at this level, this early, in just a few games in, that's something that's innate. That's a very good skill set that he has. So, you know, it's a, it's a good story, and you know what? He also, in addition to balling out the way he has, he won NFC Player of the Week. Good job, man. Good job, Tommy Cutlets. It's it's been it's been a fun ride, been fun to watch, and that man definitely deserves to be at least at the bare, at the very bare minimum a backup in this league. He's earned that. He's earned that. At least that much. At least being a backup. And I would love to have him as a backup on the Giants, honestly. I think he's earned that. Especially since he's a hometown guy. Why not, man? He's earned that right. But let's tune in. Wish my man Tommy Cutlets all the best. And let's go Giants. I'm Wise for Wise Words Media. Peace.